Hey guys, how's it going? Masbro here, and today we're gonna review that super special double end portal seed. This one is in bedrock, it's not a new seed, but what I wanted to find out was is it actually a seed that's worth building on? So, here we're gonna explore a lot more than just the stronghold. But if all you wanna see is a stronghold, that's the first thing I'm gonna show, so I'm not really gonna waste your time here, but let's just talk about spawn real quick. Spawn is actually not bad. I'm literally flying right where we spawned, and the mountain range behind it is quite nice. That area there is good as well. Still loading some chunks here in the background and over on that side we actually have a mushroom island very close to spawn so that's actually pretty good it's not a bad seed at all and i believe if i look to the other way that way over there there's actually ice spikes too so you know what this ain't a bad seed all right the ice spikes section isn't bad either if i look to my right there's actually a village right there as well there's a pillagers outpost out in the distance yeah so far so good and over at the mushroom biome well it's a pretty decent sized mushroom biome that's not bad and behind it we actually have a badlands biome so you know what all in all i mean even without the double stronghold double end portal it's a good seed it's a good seed and there's even some really unique rarities here if you go to the mushroom biome and you go to that corner over there there are some ocean ruins that are spawning above ground which is a pretty cool thing to have and it's a really cool twist because the mushroom biome inherently is a peaceful biome you don't really get hostile mob spawning but with this well i guess there will be hostile mobs wait is that even an ocean ruin can, can somebody correct me if i'm wrong uh yeah it is an ocean ruin well i guess they only spawn underwater i don't see any up here but yeah not bad not bad okay as promised let's get to the end portal room straight away and then we'll start exploring some more and i don't know why my skin is bugged in bedrock okay so here we are at the double end and portal room and wow it's 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 really there I, I mean this is this is i mean what are the odds what are the odds this is a super rare occurrence don't even think it can happen in java so it's really cool to have this on bedrock edition right so i, I mean the room didn't really look like this earlier there was walls here and there but I mean, for the sake of presentation, I had to, well, dig up some holes, and this is what it looks like. I mean, that's that's super. Now, I guess some ideas would be to just uh, build a whole underground base surrounding this area as these guys as the centerpiece. Just because, I mean, you, you know, you, you, you can't craft these blocks, you can't even grab it with, with a silk touch pickaxe, so it would make for a great centerpiece. But as promised, uh, the reason why I'm here is I want to figure out if it's a really good seed, other than this thing here. I mean, this is super, it's amazing. I mean, I, I, I don't know what are the odds of somebody actually finding something like this again. But if you're wondering why it happened, it's basically because two strongholds, well, they, uh, they just generated over each other, and this is what you get. What is wrong with Bedrock Edition? Uh, my skin keeps getting wackier and wackier. I didn't do any edits or anything. Yeah. But hey, cool colors though, I mean, why not? Anyway, let's start hunting for good stuff. All right, so here's a pretty decent village, I would say. I mean, it's a taiga village, it's uh, coastal. I think there's a ruined portal down there, a really big one, right by the warm ocean biome. We'll just uh, jump on down real quick. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Okay, that's nice. Big ravine next to it, all right, sure. Back to the village. It's also right next to the Badlands biome, which makes for a nice backdrop. And I do believe, I do believe, if things go right, there should be another stronghold right under this village. They usually generate right under the village well, but our, our fountain, oh, that's a well, but I can't find it, so let's just dig down. Oh, okay, okay, so there is a stronghold right underneath this village. Okay, fine, that's not bad, but I mean, uh, we had awesome end portals already, so let's move on. Okay, village number two. A decent area. I mean, you, you got a nice plains area to build on over there. The backdrop is quite nice. It's a Shattered Savannah Plateau, but of course, the OG Shattered Savannah is always best. But even then, the Shattered Savannahs in Bedrock, they don't generate as nicely as the ones on Java. They don't go as high. But of course, a lot of things are going to change with upcoming 1.18 uh, Caves and Cliffs update. So we'll, 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 we'll wait for that. I guess another feature of this village as well is I think it has the exact same thing if we dig down here. Okay, there we go. Another stronghold here as well. So in Bedrock Edition, that happens quite often. So if you find a village and you just try and dig down, try your luck, you might actually find a stronghold. So we got a pillager's outpost pretty close to spawn, not too far, and well, you can make some pretty awesome raid farms with these. And relatively close to that pillager's outpost, we also have a village right over here, and next to it, ice spikes. So that's a, it's another decent place to build here. Okay, so here's some decent features. There's a triple village right here, one in the distance over there, another one over there. Ruined portal by the seashore over here, pretty cool, and... There's a hidden village behind the trees here. If you look from up above, it's kind of hard to see, but well, village over here. 
over here, okay, and over here, that's not part of the village. This over here is an igloo with basement, kind of cool to have really close to a village if you dig down here. On the way down, you'll find the usual combo, chest with golden apple, and you have the potion over here, and yeah. I'm pretty sure you know what it's for by now, it's for curing villagers, so yeah. It sort of makes me wonder, back in the days before people realized that they can actually be cured, did Mojang actually tell people? Or did they just make these igloo with basements and then, you know, this is sort of like a clue on what you can do? And it is sort of like a uh, really, really creepy experimentation room. Yeah, I'm wondering, if anybody knows, uh, put it in the comment section below, I'd like to know. Okay, so this is really close to spawn as well. Having this ocean monument very close to spawn is of course very useful. It's only around 300 or 400 blocks or so, so if you need to farm one of these, very convenient to have. Ooh, there we go, finally, my favorite biome. Shattered savannas, they're in the back over there. And yeah, as you can see, it really generates differently here on Bedrock Edition. You don't have like these really, really extreme looking cliffs or overhangs. They don't really happen in Bedrock, but they still look good. They still look good. Now over here, we actually have a zombie village and it's really nicely laid out partially on top of ground. This is around 2,500 blocks away from spawn, so it's quite far, but I had to search a bit far to find some cool features on this seed. There's also a ravine right next to the village, and I think it also leads to some mine shafts, so, well, decent loot here for sure. Gotta say though, this is probably my favorite village so far in this seed. Too bad they're all zombies. All right, so here's a cool village. This one is not too far from spawn as well. It's a plains village partially in a swamps biome, except there's not many of the swamp trees nearby, so it just looks like a, a village with a nice dock. Now, swamp villages are cool, of course, because you actually have a chance of having the swamp villagers. And since this is bedrock, they actually do generate. And by generate, I mean they do generate naturally. They can actually spawn on the world, whereas in Java, you'll never actually find them spawn naturally. But you can breed them, of course. And if you've never seen a swamp villager before, check them out. They're, they're really cool. Second best after jungle villagers, for sure. And this village is actually really close to the Badlands biome, so that's really cool. And, oh, look, over there in the distance, that's the eroded Badlands biome with the spikes over there. Those are super rare, so it's very cool to have. Yeah, so we have a village uh, right next to a Badlands biome, which is really cool, but this is 8k blocks away from a spawn, so let's 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 start getting serious. I mean, okay, we're, nobody's gonna go here. Except me. I mean, I, I, I do that. If you haven't actually watched my hardcore series, I actually traveled around 30k blocks, so uh, do check that out as well. Okay, so apparently there's supposed to be a double spawner over on these coordinates over here. Let me go and look for it real quick. Okay, there it is. Alright, found it, found it. So it's actually right next to each other. I just had to dig some blocks. Or I was just really looking the wrong way, to be honest. But anyway, over here we have a double spawner, so that actually completes the seed. It's, it's quite a good one. All in all, I would actually recommend this. It's not a bad seed at all. And that uniqueness early on, I mean, that's just unsurpassed. Alright folks, so that's it for today's seed review. It's been a while since I've actually done any bedrock videos. If you'd like me to do more, do let me know in the comment section below. If you have any good bedrock seeds, do let me know, because I'm struggling to find some really good ones. Anyway, thanks for watching, the name's Masbro signing out, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, that's my cat. Alright, see you guys.